Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Kristen. Today I'm going to film for you an update for my Drop 10 Before Summer Project Pan. I think this is the first video update I've done since I initially started this project. What I thought I would do for the first update was do a Instagram post. Since it was going to be every two weeks, I thought it would be a little bit difficult for me with all the projects I have going on. And I don't know which came first, the chicken or the egg, but after that, I know I did another Instagram post update. My father-in-law was sick and I wasn't able to film. Um, and then my father-in-law passed away and I was not able to do a video update for that day as well, which was the 1st of April and or the 30th of March, 31st of March, whichever it was. I think we're posting on the 15th and the 30th or something like that. But my father-in-law passed away on April 1st and I was not able to film a video for that. And I thought that I would go ahead and push through and film a video for today for this update, which is actually a day or two late um, for this one as well. So I just kind of threw my hair up, slapped some makeup on, didn't even bother to put my contacts in, and I just figured I'm gonna go ahead and film a video update for you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into these products. I think when I've been doing the Instagram post updates, I have kind of just been giving you a progress since the last update. I don't have much more progress since the last Instagram update, but I do want to keep consistent with these updates. So I'm going to go ahead and go through the things that I've already shared on Instagram that I have either met my goal on or finished. So the first thing I have here is this Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Marine Boosting Mist. I love this. I've repurchased this. This is the second time. I am now using my MAC Fix Plus Rose scent, and then I have a full-size regular Fix Plus, which I'm really excited to use again, but this is definitely a product that I would go ahead and use in the future if they continue making this product. It has a really nice orange citrus scent to it. It's really nice and refreshing to put on before I start doing my makeup in the morning. It's just kind of something I've gotten into, probably an extra step, but it's part of my routine, so it takes me literally no more time than it always has to do my makeup just because that's a normal part of my routine but that is finished and um, done and over with the next three products I have hit my goal on um, but they're not finished so this is the Mai Tai eyeshadow from Makeup Geek um, I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in on this in a second so that you can see that I have hip pan on this. I do have an initial photo of this that I will go ahead and post here, which is something I haven't been able to do in my Instagram posts or I just didn't take the time to do. So I will go ahead and post the starting photo in this video and I will go ahead and zoom in on this video. Next product I have is a ColourPop blush in the shade Cruel Intentions and I will show you my goal for this was to hit pan on this and as you can see I have when I posted the update for this I had a very teeny tiny little speck of pan and I made a conscious effort to continue to work on this because we all know how easy it is to push ColourPop products around. I don't feel like there's any pushed up to the sides or at least not much. So I do feel like this is true pan, which is also the reason why I continue to use this so that I didn't just have this tiny little speck of pan because it is fairly easy to hit pan on these ColourPop shadows and ColourPop blushes. But I did get some pretty good use out of this. I was using this as a base for whatever blush I was using. I really enjoyed this. It's darker than I think I remember it being. I think it was like a brighter pink color when I first got it, but I could be wrong. Um, so I'm going to keep working on this, but I'm working on some other blushes before I continue um, to work on this. Um, let me go ahead and zoom in on this for you as well. The next product I have, I actually shared a photo on Instagram and asked you guys if you would consider this pan. Some people said yes, and some people said to continue working on it, which I will. But well, my goal for the year was to hit pan on a mini bronzer. 
and this one shattered at one point so I had to repress it so of course like I've said before I said in the last video that I just filmed for my finish eight by Easter when you repress it does get a little bit more powdery it is easier to hit pan afterwards but I still feel like I'm making pretty decent progress on this and I'm not going to stop working on it just because I've considered myself to hit my goal for the year and for this project but um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you this is my Too Faced Sun Bunny bronzer and so this is a little bit more progress than I shared in that Instagram photo as you can see I have pan over here and um, really close to side pan over here as well it's just not pressed up against the side very well so it's very easy to hit pan there so I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on this for you so I'm also going to go ahead and post a picture of this when I first started this project um, I might even post some of the repressing process because when this product started it was split down the middle it was two different shades one was a little lighter one was a little darker and I hadn't even hit pan on this yet it didn't get knocked around a, lo a lot it's in a cardboard packaging so it's not like it's you know gonna be really heavy and knocking into things in my makeup bag but um, it just shattered one day so I had to repress it but that is my Too Faced Sun Bunny bronzer. And one product that I really don't have a goal for, um, but I've made progress on, and that was my goal, was to make progress, but I still want to make more, is my MAC um, Seaside Cream Color Base. And this is what this looks like. I think I have a intro photo for this as well, and I will go ahead and include that here so you can see that it does have a little bit of expansion on the pan that's there. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on this for you. I don't know if you can see that says seaside right there. I have another cream product in this project and this is the MAC So Sweet So Easy Cream Blend Blush and you're not going to see much progress here. Um, I have used this. I do feel like it's getting a little bit of a dent in it but this is a little difficult for me to use. I find this quite hard to blend out on my cheeks. I feel like it gives my skin a little bit of a oily texture and I mean that in like the sense that like I, you could see it sitting on the skin it's a cream blend blush but I don't feel like it blends very easily into the skin so I am finding it a little bit difficult to use this product I have moved on to another blush in my um, projects to focus on which is a more coral kind of blush and I don't know if it would go very well over this this is quite pink although this could probably look a little bit corally pink on screen here but it's definitely a a pink um, so I'm going to try and use this as a base underneath that but I don't know how successful I'll be so I am just going to keep trying my hardest to hit pan on this because I do want to at least get some use out of my cream products so that if they do go bad I can feel good about what I have been able to do with them. So this is my MAC So Sweet So Easy. I'm not going to bother to zoom in on this because you can't really see a lot of progress with this. The next product I have sitting here is my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector um, Cream. And this is where I started with this project and this is where I'm at. I have switched this into my rotation um, and bumped out the product that I'm going to show you next because I was mixing this with my CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous foundation which I am like this close to finishing if not completely done because I'm definitely hitting a lot of air and I don't think I'm going to cut it open because I do have a backup and I've got a couple of other foundations that I want to finish this year including the next thing that I'm going to show you. So I'm really happy with the progress that I have made on this product since I started it even if I don't finish it in this project um, I'm really happy with where I've gotten with this so what I might tr start trying to do is use other foundations 
um, while I'm working on the next product. But don't exclusively work on another foundation while I'm trying to finish that one because that's what I was trying to do with the Ready Set Gorgeous but I don't think I'm going to do that and use it exclusively. I'm just going to use it here and there so I can get some more progress on this because the next product I'm just going to go ahead and show you is my It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus Illumination. So I don't want to add another illuminating product in conjunction with this product. So this is a little skewed because I do have this pushed down um, so I'll go ahead and push this out because I had to cut this open. The pump stopped working for no good reason because the product was way above the pump, which my last It Cosmetics foundation, it was when the um, product was almost finished and it was down past the pump that I couldn't use it anymore. So I had to cut this open. Um, so this is where this product starts roughly over here. And this is roughly where I'm at right now. So not too terribly much longer to go. So once I start using this, I should be able to finish this up pretty quickly. And it should definitely be finished before the end of this project. So that was the last official product in... No, it's not. I lied. Um, I forgot about my palettes. Um, this is my Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. And um, not much progress at all on this shade right here in Summer Yum. I'm going to try and zoom in here. I don't have much progress at all on that shade. But I do have another eyeshadow palette in this project. This is the Lorac Summer Glow. The only goal I had for this was to hit pan on three shades, if not more, if I could. And the only one that I really have some progress on is right here. And I am just lining my lower lash line with that um, over top of one of the other eyeliners that's in one of my other projects. I am trying to work on this shade and this shade as well, although I think if I hit pan on this shade, I'm going to start working on this one for my under eye. And um, we'll see where I hit pan, but I definitely just want to at least hit pan on three shades. So that's where I'm at. And that was my last official product in this project and I do have a bonus item and that is my CK1 Summer Perfume. I have been using this pretty regularly but I've been kind of just using some other sprays just to get variety um, and this is where I'm at with this. So I don't know if you can see my lines because they're really small but this is where I was at at the last update and that bottom line right there is where I'm at now. So I feel like I'm making steady progress on this. I don't know if I'll finish this, but this is definitely the time of year for me to use this scent. Every time I spray this, my husband says he feels like we're at the beach. It reminds him of our annual trip to the beach that we do for our anniversary. So uh, I really enjoy this. I'll be sad when it's gone, but I do have a lot of other scents that I really love, including my Victoria's Secret Sun Kiss, which also reminds me of the beach. So um, that's it. So that is my update for my Drop 10 Before Summer Project Pan. It feels good to be able to film again and get these videos up for you guys. Um, I'm going to do a lot of editing today because I've got four videos now that I need to get up for you guys. This is going to be one of them. I may post two videos on one day because I want to get these videos out for you guys so thank you guys so much for watching extend a special thank you to the girls that are in this collab as well as the girls that have joined in on this but the girls that are in this collab that have joined this collab in the very beginning it was way bigger than any of us thought it was going to be 30 plus people like officially and then so many others have joined in on this but the girls that have started this project together that originally got invited and all of that have been in a group chat uh, with each other on Instagram since the beginning and I cannot tell you, we were just having a conversation about this the other day, even though I'm not active all the time in the chat, we, are, we were having a conversation about how supportive not only this community is, but this group of women. We have had so many conversations about things that are going on in each other's lives, new jobs, the death of my father-in-law and I can't explain to you how grateful and thankful I am for these women who have provided so much support and love through this entire process. Women that I don't even know in real life but God I would love to 
have provided more support, consolation, and love to me than some of my friends that I've known for 10 years. Girls that I would have expected to be by my side for anything have left me in my time. It's, it's long stories, but I just wanted to thank these ladies for just being such an inspiration, such a support, so loving and so caring when you don't even know me. And I just, it's a beautiful thing. So thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Thank you for being here. Please like, comment, subscribe. Click that little bell so you can see my updates show up in your feed or be notified when they are there. And I will see you guys in my next one. Thank you so much. Bye.